Hi girls, today I would like to introduce Angelina Walewska, who is an aesthetician and um, makeup artist, and we will be doing some wonders today. So Angelina, besides uh, the fact that uh, she will talk about what she's doing, she will also do a makeup on me, and we will see the difference between how do I look before and after. So can you please give us a few words about yourself? How did you get to that profession? And w what's your profession? What's your background from back home? Hi girls, hi everyone. Well, the long story short, it actually, uh, when the first time I fell in love with makeup, that was uh, back when I was 13 years old, <laughs> when I went to a modeling school and when I was working in Ukraine in a model agency. And uh, one of the classes was actually a makeup artist. Uh, class and um, so yeah after that I was just kind of more curious about makeup and uh, all the things about artisticism and creativity with the beauty industry and um, when I came to Canada I, um, I participated in a few uh, volunteer in Ukrainian uh, organization uh, classes I was uh, showing little girls teenagers how to do makeup, how to apply it, um, did some modeling classes with them, that was really fun. And after that, I started to do more makeup. So, so was it, are you a self-learned or you have taken some? Well, I started uh, as a, it was actual proper classes. So that was a, most of the basic. In the modeling agency, Back right? when I was like 15, whatever. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so we did uh, most of the um, classes and it was actually by the teacher. So um, it was special techniques and all that. It's still used by now because it was like a classic technique. So mm -hmm. uh, it's really multi useful. Um, and then um, you kind of you need to be keep on going and learning because it's... You know um, what yeah, is interesting? What industry. I wanted to make a point that a lot of people think that they need a higher education for any any type of a, of a job and um, it is not true like right now we have a serious conversation with my son with my younger son and he's considering whether he should go to college or university after the high school to get the programming uh, programming diploma or degree whatever uh, and and I think really that if you have this passion and if you can learn yourself you can take courses you can take the tutoring courses you can learn a lot from YouTube videos and um, uh, from different courses online that you can purchase and if you are proficient and if you're good in what you're doing quite often the higher education might not be the best option for you because like in your profession profession as soon as you start doing, you have slowly clients building up and uh, you know what you're doing, you're being good and, and you are getting the experience. That's at that point, really, you can always perfect your skills. You can look through different, probably you have people that you follow, that you enjoy watching what they're doing and you learn this way, right? And besides you're working now in a studio, am I correct? Uh, I'm working mostly mobile. Okay. Uh, uh, and as well, we work in a studio as well. So, but it's like a home-based studio, so it's not like a proper separate business salon spot yet. Um, that's in the plans. But um, yeah, um, as you were saying about higher education, mm -hmm. um, basically for makeup artists, um, there's a lot of people saying like, "Oh, I'm a certified makeup artist, or I'm licensed." There's no licensing in Ontario, in Canada, for makeup artists. Uh, because uh, basically it's not as dangerous to get uh, infections or anything like that as hair dressing. Even aesthetics don't need to have license yet. Well, hopefully soon because um, the competition is really like high and uh, because so many people don't do actually proper steps for cleaning and sanitizing, you can get um, like harm by aesthetic services. So yeah, I guess you need to just develop and just, you know, go and go and learn as much as you can. But if you're an engineer, for, for sure you would need something Yes, there higher, are some right? professions that you yeah. have to, like a doctor. You cannot become a doctor yes, without exactly. being properly certified and trained. Mm -hmm. um, tell me please a little bit more as to how you started your work. How did you get your first clients? Like who were your first clients and how did you get your client base developed? My first clients were actually my friends. And uh, that was my friend's weddings or my friend's photo session because some of my friends were modeling time at the time. And uh, 
Um, plus, we were doing some um, creative photo shoots for, um, how would I say it, um, like TFP, which is uh, um, Time for Pictures, so which, which is now called collaboration. So mm -hmm. people would come, like a photographer wants to fulfill his portfolio, he would call a model and the model would call a makeup artist or they're going to kind of collaborate together and work basically for free. So for but makeup that would artists, be to build the portfolio, yeah, and for get everyone, right? Exactly. So, uh, but make like to be a makeup artist for sure. Your first year or two, it should be like almost free because you need to build. You're not and a master. Unless, exactly. You're not that level you have yet. To train, so you have to have the. You need to be learning and you need to be fulfilling your portfolio because if you have two, three, four pictures, uh, nobody's gonna hire you. And plus, your hands are not on the right place yet so you, it kind of takes time so as many more years that's how it usually works does it um the the combination of esthetician and cos and and uh, makeup artist does it help you what how does it work how does it blend in your work well basically why i went to aesthetics because when i was doing some makeup it was my uh, part-time job it was my mostly like a hobby and i really enjoyed it i was feeling creative when i was doing some makeup plus it was mostly volunteer jobs because i was trying to train myself as well more um, at the beginning and uh, then I figured okay that's not maybe as, as a study job for a person who is really family oriented as I was feeling myself at the time and um, uh, so I went to for aesthetic school so I went to Humber College for aesthetician management and cosmetic management so I finished those programs and I found out that it was a really big help because to make somebody pretty and beautiful just using some um, cosmetic products is not enough because you need to know how to get that skin healthy and like glowing from mm -hmm. the underneath it's it's a little bit different stuff and uh, you need to be loving a little bit more medical stuff I guess if you're more creative or you're more uh, into like science then um, but in general you it's actually really helping just because um, I know when I see a person I know what kind of problems skin problems they would have or concerns or what product is uh, better to use or something to recommend mm -hmm. for uh, home care that helps for that me specific a lot. skin yes. type yes it does help and a lot. who are your clients who are your customers uh well usually it's a brides mm -hmm. it's a lot of brides because uh well that's the industry that's what it stands on and um a lot of fashion shows so it's mostly fashion based shows in toronto um and uh, just regular women who want to lately makeup start to be so popular and so everywhere that um i feel like everyone wants to have a little a little extra if they're going for christmas party or they go for a birthday party or they have a big baby shower or photo photo session with the with the family with the kids or like just boudoir photography or something like that they want something a little extra they want to feel that um, you know, like something indulge in that something special because usually everyone does everything themselves. And now, because there's so much makeup and so much YouTube and so much videos and inspirational pictures that they want to apply, but they don't know how. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes now people start to get it that okay, I will spend a little more and I will get my like everything enhanced with my looks so I would look my my beautiful self at the event can you also mm -hmm. help people like um people that uh, like you said they want to look beautiful and they want but they don't know can you provide consultations as to how to i do properly? provide classes mm -hmm. for um usually it's groups or um private lately it's been really popular with private classes because again makeup start to boom like several years ago and uh, if you go to Sephora, even Drug Mart, anywhere where you could buy some cosmetics and makeup, it's just booming. All those shelves are full of stuff and all that YouTube is full of tutorials. But a lot of people watching those tutorials, but they don't still don't understand how to apply it because on practical side, it's, it is really hard. Um, and then, yeah. and then between the whole plethora of the brushes and the oh, yeah. everything, like really, what do you pick up that you need for yourself, right? So exactly. if you have someone who can actually help you with that, that it's like hands-on. 
Sure. Because a lot of people, some people are theoretical, right? They would read the book and they're like, okay, I get it. I know how to do it exactly. And some people would read the book and they're like, okay, somebody needs to show me that, you know? So that's uh, that's when I actually come over and help. Uh, usually it's, again, mobile. You could come to my studio or you could come, uh, I could come to you. And usually it's a set of packages of four or six classes, just because in one class you can't. Cover like you, you can't, yeah, <laughs> just because it's so much uh, different stuff out there, like cosmetic products and textures and like qualities and prices that everyone needs to decide for themselves because um, we go for, from the different badges, budgets from the drug mart to all the way to the bay, like we can go from <laughs> anywhere as long as I could do uh, like, like a shopping with them as well because a lot of them like okay I don't understand what should I buy sure. so we just go over and sure. uh, we could actually go to a store together and it's been really popular because people are actually saying like okay I bought all of this and what should I do with those highlighters how do you apply them I don't understand I, I apply it it doesn't look like right and the same with like a lot of eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks that's out, out there and people just sometimes feel clueless and uh, they need some help Thank you so much. So girls, if you have any questions, make sure to write them down and uh, contact Angelina. She'll be happy to help you. We'll put the phone number as well. And then we'll do a few more videos uh, step by step. Uh, she will be preparing my skin and doing the brows and whatever has to be done. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you will lead the, you will guide the videos through. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.